Okay, before I start uh, JPK, let me just show you what I'm using. Um, this is IntelliJ 2024.3.1. Uh, 20, and uh, here, JPK that comes with uh, JDK is uh, 23.0.1. Of course, the Java. It's going to be same version. Okay, make sure you are using same version. So um, let me quickly show you a Wix toolkit. You need to have that to create the EXE MSI installer on Windows. Also, I'm using same version for JavaFX SDK and then JMOD for uh, uh, J, uh, J package. Let me open the terminal. Okay, this is the way I keep the uh, demo jar. So I'll start with the J package. You can type the installer exe, or if you don't, uh, the default is exe. Okay, so let me delete. Input. Okay where the demo char is located. So we'll say current directory, where I'm going to create the installer exe destination current directory. Okay, main uh, char. Okay, that's the demo dot char. Inside, we need to report to main class. In my case, I'm using app class. So under package, come example demo. Name of the class happens to be app app. Okay, and then module pass. Where is your JavaFX? SDK library. Okay, now we are using uh, J modes. Okay, JavaFX controls FXML. We used to use this path for uh, JavaFX library, but we are using J modes for J package. Okay, add, add modules, same JavaFX controls, JavaFX, FXML. Uh, here, this is a Windows uh, shortcut on your desktop and then Windows menu. Okay, I think there is a mistake. Forgot to add a slash. You can use the arrow key to go up. It's supposed to be Win dash shortcuts. Uh, Win menu is going to create the uh, icon on your menu of Windows 10 or 11. Packaging process will take time. Okay, depends on your hard disk drive. It may take two minutes. Okay, here you go. You have uh, just click uh, demo jar directory. You can see app 1.0 exe. You can open with the Windows. Name convention is the same as your main class. Main class happen to be app. So start with 1.0 if you don't specify. We can change later on. Okay, let me try to install. Again, installation will take time. Okay. Okay, here we go. So there will be two uh, icons. One is on the app. There will be another one on the uh, on desktop. Window shortcut. Okay, that's the one. I just double click. Hello. Okay, welcome to JavaFX application. Let's go to um, apps. Again, it's going to be a, a alphabetic order. Here you go, 1.0. You can un uninstall it. 
Okay, uninstall uh, will work. Okay, the shortcut disappear. Okay, this one will disappear eventually. Okay, it's gone. Let me go back. Okay, I will show you other options. Okay, so you use the arrow key, go back to the command line. So we can say uh, type MSI, we can change to MSI uh, instead of EXE, which is uh, default. Okay, here app version. If we want to uh, change or upgrade to 2.0 somehow, you can change um, using app version. Okay, now it's 2.0 MSI. It works exactly the same as the EXC, so let me continue. I'm adding one more uh, program name I like to change to uh, my app. So you can say uh, name my app. Also, you can type the description. Um, sorry, the accidentally and uh, pressed enter key. So let me just type the description Java FX 23. Hello world app. Okay. Um, okay, there is a typo. Description should be T I O N. Okay. the directory now you can see um, the, your application name changed to my app version 2.0 and then MSI okay here you go my app uh, 2.0 I already have one icon so you can uh, have your own icons there are many websites uh, provide you how to convert the, your picture to icons. So hopefully you can find that out. So let me go back to previous comment. There's another option called uh, icon. Two dash icon. And then name of icon happened to be icon dot. ICO. Okay, that's the name I have. Okay, let me click again. So we have uh, my app um, 2.0. Okay, I'm currently installing. Um, okay, here you go. Uh, pay attention to icons. See, now we have our own customized icon on Windows menu as well. It works exactly the same. Let me just uh, launch the application. Hello, okay. Go to apps. So this time is uh, my app. Okay, my app 2.0. Okay, I'll install it. Uh, next one might be more uh, important. I mean, next couple of options. Okay, uh, this one will disappear eventually. Okay, if you use uh, JLink, you can create your own um, customized runtime. Um, let's say JDK23. 
doesn't come with uh, Java FX, so I will create my own JDK runtime. Include um, Java FX library. So here output I call it as uh, my runtime and the project directory. I don't need uh, actually I don't have uh, header files. I don't have any uh, menu page. That's it. So here is the my runtime. There is the library, and then the binary files I need for my application called demo. Okay, let's go up. Now you can use JPackage. Then let's say we will create the MSI files, but um, you have to use the option called runtime image img uh, name of uh, runtime my runtime uh, if you remember i already combined uh, javafx modules to my uh, jdk23 so you can remove okay until uh, javafx fxml once you open it uh, the previous one is only 71,000 kilobytes, so basically 71 megabytes. Okay. Once you finish, we have 148 megabytes. Okay, because it has uh, um, my runtime libraries. Okay. You can use uh, Burbos. We want to look at um, logging details for debugging. Okay, once you finish, you can go up. You can see uh, all this logging information for J package. It will start with the uh, uh, use of uh, Wix toolkit, uh, candle, and then light.exe. And create, try to create the um, icons. Okay, here is the additional ones. And then uh, name it as my app. And there is a, a pass. Okay, it's still the same. So Wix toolkit, you really need it. Succeed in uh, building MSI installer package. So that's how you can use your own um, uh, runtime. Okay, that's all.